Ladies and gentlemen, you have questions, and I have the answers. For the most part. Uh, Dragon Ball Legends had a video and stuff yesterday. If you haven't seen it, you can go check out my reaction video to it. Highly recommend. But they talked about a whole lot of stuff that a lot of people are hyped about that they will be adding to Dragon Ball Legends. Now, of course, we had our weekly reset last night, which is when they add all the brand new sparkly stuff into the game. And they didn't add everything from the video and stuff. So people have questions, where's this? Where's that? When should we expect this? And they don't give exact dates for a lot of these things, but they give us kind of a roadmap for what we should expect for the time frame for when these things could arrive. And so I'll be going through everything they added last night and when you should expect some of the other stuff they didn't add, like Ultra Omega Shenron and the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta equip, stuff like that. So if you're interested in that, stick around. I'll be going through all of this. And of course, you can find all of this information at Legends DBZ Space. Also, you can just find it in the news part of the game. There's a little news icon, you click it. But bam these aren't hidden ancient scrolls I'm hiding in my faraway temple that you guys can't access. Everyone can see these things. But so let's get into the update. The Legends is changing. Feedback update 2021 is what they're calling this. Uh, thank you for your continued support. And basically this is the important stuff I guess for you guys wanting to know when things will show up. Based on feedback and requests we've received from players we'll be making uh, updates over the next four weeks. The first week this week the following updates were made. So it's going to be over the next month. So we got our first batch of updates this week. Then next week will be another. Then the week after that, another. And then again, another week, we get another. So that'll be our updates. And then after that, it's Black Friday time. So this is like leading up to Black Friday, all of these updates. So keep that in mind. So what we got this week was we got Janemba, who we saw in the V-Jump leaks, if you didn't see that. I also made a V-Jump leak video. There's also a new character, a new Piccolo. You can go check that out as well if you want to. But we got Super Janemba's Zenkai. And I haven't seen any gameplay with it quite yet. From looking at the kit, it didn't seem too, like, insane. Like, he was going to be some OP unit you're going to want to have. But, depending on how people use him, if people can find effective methods of using him in battle alongside his kit and skills, maybe he'll be pretty good. But for the most part, he seemed just kind of like a bench buffer for the new Perfect Cell. However, with this in mind, they uh, also made all Zenkais free. All future Zenkais, I should say. All the ones that came out before... You still have to pay to get them, but now you can get all, starting with Janemba, everything came from here on out for free. You can also still pay for them, which I'll go, you know, I'll cover in a second. But essentially, you can get 3,000 of the Z power, the Zenkai power, from the Battle Gauntlet. There was a new Battle Gauntlet with Janemba that was added when you get to level, you know, 100, stage 100. You get all the CC and the Z power. They didn't take away the CC, so don't worry, you can still get your CC. And then there's Awakening Z Power missions to get 4,000. So that's how you get all 7,000 for your Janemba. And if you don't have him at 7 star already, you can still, in fact, buy the missions for Janemba. Which, as we get to here, you can see this is all the spots to get Awakening Z Power. There's the Battle Gauntlet. There's the special missions, which is the 7,000 I just told you about. Then we have the Zenkai Awaken Booster, which is how you can get him to 7 star if you don't have... If you, even if you don't have him at all, you can get him to 7 star. You have to spend 2,000 CC, though. They did not make this free. The only free part of the Zenkai is if you have them 7 stars already, then you can get their Zenkai power for free. But if you don't have them 7 stars to get their Z power, you still have to pay the 2,000 CC. Or you can just summon and hope you get him. I only have him 2 star, actually, somehow. I've only pulled this guy one time ever, I guess. So, interesting. But, uh, yeah... These are, you know, the ways to get Janemba right now. I'm going to assume that, uh, or here, will be added to the Rush Metal on 11-9. So November 9th is when he'll be added to the Rush Metal Shop. So you have to wait for then for the Rush Metal Shop. So, uh, yeah, that's that's how you get Janemba. So if you're interested in that, there you go. There's your news and information. They also added back the legendary Super Saiyan Goku event, which is to get the Ultra Goku. And they added in boss battles to get the Z power and also the souls. So you can upgrade Goku. They also added a Platinum Equip here for the Super Saiyan Goku. And they did the same exact thing for the Ultra Vegeta. Added his event, added boss battles, and added a Platinum Equip. If you're interested in the Equip, here's Vegeta's. Uh, basically, slot 1, base strike defense up to 20%. Base blast defense up to 22%. And slot 3 is 3-6% to to strike and blast attack for each episode Frieza Saga battle member. So... There you go. That's, you know, how you get them. This can only, of course, be used on Vegeta. And now for Goku's, very quickly. Goku's rage with the heat of a mighty inferno. That's just a sick name. 
Uh, slot 1 is base key recovery up to 20%, slot 2 is base strike attack up to 30%, and slot 3 is 5 to 10% to own strike attack for each tag Saiyan battle member. And of course, you can only put this on the Ultra Goku. So, there you go, you can get it from the events, and uh, good luck trying to roll it and get that Z+, plus or Z, you know, whatever you want to go for. But that's what they did for the Ultra, Vegeta, and Goku, making it easier. So if you don't have a 14 star, and you don't have all the rare medals, because you can just buy this stuff with rare medals in the shop. If you don't have that, though, you can just go in, bada boom, bada bang. They've said they wanted to make it easier for the free to play Ultras, which Omega will be a free to play. You'll get them from an event. After that, though, they said it may be a little while until we get our next free one. So it'll be summonable Ultras, so we'll see how that goes. Hopefully it's not... Hopefully they don't make the raids super awful. One person pointed out, I saw on Twitter somewhere, that we are now getting Zenkais for free. So it's, they thought all that CC that we're not having to spend on Zenkais, we may have to spend trying to get the new Ultra units. So I guess we'll have to see how they make the raids for Ultra units, but that's just something to keep in the back of your minds. Also added in this update is they changed the uh, event unlock conditions for all of this stuff. Which is, you know, the Fusion Reborn, Super Gogeta, Eliminate the Earthlings. This is all the stuff that's in, like, the kind of, like, I believe it's all in the special tag for when you go into events at the right-hand side. So, they changed all of that. So, if you're interested, you can pause here, read what you have to do. For the most part, if you've beaten the story, you've done all the conditions you need to do. So, it's really simple. Even if you've made it past, like, barely anywhere in the story, like, it's literally super easy to do all these things. So, as long as you play the game... You can do all the events. You probably have them unlocked. You've probably done a lot of them already. Legends Weekend, though, is getting a huge revamp. A huge, massive, juicy revamp. And I want to talk about this because this is actually something that I find to be very exciting. If you now log in three days in a row during Legends Weekend, which is all three days of the Legends Weekend, for me, I believe it is on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. I don't know why it's Monday, but it uh, it is. And uh, you'll get 100 CC. So make sure you log in in all three days during the Legends Row weekend. You literally just have to log in. It's not that hard. If you don't want to play, you don't have to play. You can just log in to get your 100 CC. Keep completing the daily missions every weekend, though. And you'll be able to get multi-Z powers for Legends Limited characters. We'll cover that in a second. They go a little bit more in depth. And uh, this update will apply for this upcoming Legends weekend. So the one that's starting this weekend and going forward. This is the new start. This is how Legends Weekend's going to be. This is the new change. They're going to see how it works, of course. The following changes are coming. There is a login bonus change, so we'll get new login bonuses. League, I almost said Legends. <laughs> Legends Weekend Exchange Shop lineup changes. Great Weekend Medals, this is kind of exciting, have been added to the daily mission completion rewards on weekends only. You can use these me medals to get the Legends Limited Z Power that I talked about. Well, again, I'll cover that in a second. Happy Weekend Summon lineup changes. So if you don't remember, there's the Happy Weekend Summoning, which is 100cc. And for the most part, people did it when it first came out, but at this stage, like I never do it. It just feels like a waste of 100cc a lot of the time. It's a 50% chance to get a Sparking. It's that banner. You get one per day, I believe. And they've changed it now. So there's a lot better units in there, and that's one of the super really exciting things that I'll cover in a second. There will also be a Happy Weekend Sale, where you can buy slot removers once a day on weekends only. So if you want slot removers and you spend that moolah, you got that cash guala guala, then you can go and spend it there for those slot removers. And adjusted the number of each type of souls obtainable in Ultra Battle Bonus 1 star event. They talked about that in the video and stuff, so if you saw that. But essentially, you know, when you're going to get souls, there's the level 1, which only gives you level 1 souls, while like the level 2 gives you level 2 and 1. They made it so that the Ultra Bonus Battle Level 1 is cheaper and gives you more souls. So, like, cheaper in terms of how much stamina it uses from your stamina bar. But, um, one big thing is if you've been hoarding your Sparking Weekend Summon Tickets, they will end. You cannot do that anymore after October 30th, so go spend them before then. That's the one ticket you get per weekend for guaranteed Sparking. Go make sure you spend those before that goes away. You'd hate to lose out on all those free sparkings, Z power for whatever you may need, unless you're Goresh and have everyone 14 star already. But I think that's not most people. PvP has changed where, you know, before battle rank, you had to, like, it only went up to level 1000, level 2000, 3000, 5000, you guys can read. Now, it's all level 5000. So if you were fighting at the lower ranks and you didn't level up your characters to 5000, you're going to want to do that now. Otherwise, you're going to be at a severe disadvantage. Although I always recommend you level up your characters to level 5000 all the time because that's just like how they become usable realistically. So 
make sure you do that. They, uh, they say, while leveling up to 5,000 will become more important, we are planning to make improvements and adjustments in the next feedback update, so I believe that'll be next week, to make it easier to level up, such as increasing the experience gained through training. So that should actually be exciting. It will then cost less materials to level up your characters. Uh, so I'm actually looking forward to that. That would be cool. It just helps, like, even if you get everyone level 5,000, when you get new characters now, it'll just be uh, easier, I guess. So got to keep that in mind. Uh, they increased the number of souls. I talked about that. They say that uh, they're re-examining daily missions. Some mission rewards have been adjusted, but the number of CC you can earn remains unchanged. You can check the in-game details for more. And next update, of course, is next week. Now, I want to talk a little bit more about the changes to the banners they added. So first up, Super Masters Pack 3 is now out. And as you can see, they've added characters from literally the third anniversary. We've got the purple, the Vegito Blue, Purple VB. We got the Revival Super Saiyan Blue Goku. We got the Transforming Demon King Piccolo. We got 17 and 18 from the Tournament of Power. We got Angel Vegeta. We've got Broly. So some pretty big changes you can see here. This banner is out now. You can do dailies on it. So if you want to do 20 CC a day, hope you pull one of these mighty fine looking nice, snappy, dapper units. You can go ahead and do that. Uh, Sparking Rarity Ticket Summon is available at the same time. So, you know. You can get uh, guaranteed sparking tickets from it. I I don't think they have any like guaranteed events for it out right now, but uh, yeah, so that'll be exciting. Again, these are all the characters. They also added the Shenrons from Anniversary, Kefla from Anniversary. There's the Androids. There's the Trunks My Assist, the Goku, the Hit. I actually want more copies of that Hit. Angel Vegeta, Demon King Piccolo, Broly, and uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, oh, actually, here it is. It was part of this. It was part of the guaranteed weekend thing. That's why I forgot about it. I was about to cover that for you guys. The guaranteed uh, event weekend can give you a sparking ticket, so that's actually where you get it. It's not from an event. I've completely blanked on it, but there you go. Uh, so yeah, you can use the weekend medals, which I'm going to talk about again in a second once I cover the whole weekend thing. But you can get those to get uh, guaranteed sparking tickets. So some exciting units maybe you missed out on some of them from third anniversary or just you didn't summon on maybe the android banner here and you wanted 17 or 18 something like that you didn't get one of the shenrons i don't know whatever it is you want now it's there so that's exciting but finally we'll wrap up with the legends weekend complete changes going in depth showing you all the rewards you can get and what the new banner looks like so here we go let's get right on into it i read you all this stuff already basically the login bonus as you can see here this is the uh, new login bonus. You get that 100cc at the end. There's those medals you get all the time. Tickets, energy, the missions that most of the time ends in me getting like three energy and I cry at night. <laughs> um, there's that. They've uh, updated the weekend exchange thing. So these medals, which you should be, have been collecting the whole time anyway because they come out for every weekend before. These aren't the new medals. These are the old ones. Then you can get, you know, updated. So if you want any of this stuff, Erase slot removers, erasers, whatever you want to call them. Skip tickets, energy, bada bing, bada boom, there you go. Uh, this is just talking about what you can get. CC, Sparky Metals, multi z Power 10, slot removers, energy tank plus 10, energy tank plus 1, which is my apparently account's favorite reward to pull. So that's, um, <clears throat> that's nice. That's always nice. But then we have our new Great Weekend. Uh, medals and the exchange lineup, which you can see here. You get 100 Z power for 12 of these bad boys. And basically, they explain that you get these medals on the daily missions during the three day happy weekend. And you can trade them for all sorts of stuff. There's the guaranteed sparking ticket if you'd rather have that instead. It costs three medals for that. So if you'd rather have that to go and try and get the sparking units on that banner, knock your socks off or three of them for 15 slot removers. So you can do that instead. That's like the big change there. Exchange shop can be reached via the menu exchange shop. It'll be in there. It's you're gonna find it pretty easily Now the banner change to the once per day 50% chance of a sparking as you can see we got some big bad boys up in here We got the Broly LF Broly LF UI LF Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta and LF Super Saiyan Blue Vegito so huge time stuff this dude is still an absolute animal Vegito Blue if you haven't met some higher stars, I mean, they still haven't given him a Platinum Equip, but they gave this anniversary's Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta a Platinum Equip. So, as you can see, one of these is not like the other. But, with that in mind, I mean, I hope to pull, actually, um, I don't, oh, and Majin Vegeta. 
Much Vegeta. He, they didn't show him here, but they have him here. So there you go. Um, I hope to actually get some copies of Gogeta Blue since I don't have him. Oh, I don't have Broly either. I actually don't have Majin Vegeta, but I don't really want Majin Vegeta. I don't know. It's just I don't ever run a team Majin Vegeta would be really used on. Wouldn't mind more copies of Vegeta Blue or UI. They also have uh, these LFs on there as well. Super Vegito, I would love to... If, if you can get Super Vegito to 14 stars, whew, he's got a deadly Z ability, which is going to be insane when the leader update comes out. Especially if the idea that when the leader update comes out, he may get a Zenkai finally. Because he's like the... I, he's, I think he's the oldest LF to not have a Zenkai. He came out before... I think this... Is this the order that they came out? I'm forgetting, but I'm pretty sure. Has Zenkai, has Zenkai, has Zenkai, has Zenkai, has Zenkai, has Zenkai, has Zenkai. So he doesn't, he doesn't, he's not getting one f for a while, I bet. So Super Vegito, make it a Zenkai. Uh, these guys aren't. Well, I could see Majin Vegito maybe getting one. I don't know about that. I'd say he and Super Vegito are up next. Super Saiyan Blue, Vegeta, and Super Vegito would make the most sense to me. So hopefully Super Vegito gets one maybe with the leader update. So you want to try and give him 14 stars though, because his ability becomes a lot better at 14 stars. 50 erasers, as I discussed. The bonus battle's out. Go do that stuff. Log in. The daily login bonus. You can see here. You get to pick one of these things. You know how it works if you've been playing Legends. This is going away. This banner is going away again. Make sure you spend your tickets before October 30th. And that is really about it. So that's it for our update. Omega will be coming in one of the next three weeks. We don't have an exact time. They didn't say Omega now at this time. So keep your eyes peeled. It may be next week. It may be the week after that. Or it may be the week after that. But I feel like they'd want to put it out at least... If it's not next week, I feel like it would be the third week. Which would be two weeks from now. That's just my kind of gut feeling for it. I feel like it won't be the last week. But maybe it will be. I guess we'll find out. But there you guys go. If this video helped you out at all, leave a like. Any questions you have further, let me know in the comments down below. I'll try my best to help you out. But that's going to do it. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell if you want notifications every time I post a video. Go follow me on Twitch for those beautiful live streams. And I'll catch you all uh, tomorrow. But I hope you all are staying happy and healthy. Forgot that part. Hope you all are staying happy and healthy. Having the best of days. And I'll catch you tomorrow.